As you can imagine, it was a tense scene today when those explosions broke out. And today we caught up with some eyewitnesses who weren't sure what to think when they were ordered to evacuate the area. Our in-depth coverage continues now live from Providence with Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace. And Mike and Susan, the quiet here, Richmond and South Streets, belies the confusion and fear here just a few hours earlier. From the first explosion to the last, people literally thought they were running for their lives. Many people heard the explosions in the 300 block of Richmond Street. It's the command from authorities immediately after the second explosion that Rick's Roadhouse General Manager Natasha Greco will never forget. At that moment, we just heard everyone run and don't look back. The first explosion sparked more curiosity than chaos for Leeds Mitchell. His building is right behind Richmond Street. We heard a uh, pretty loud explosion that shook our entire building. It uh, got everybody out of their offices, and uh, we immediately looked around to see what it could have been. The second explosion and the third explosion, and, you know, at that point, you know, like we got out of the area pretty quickly. Here we go. Natasha was getting ready to open for her lunchtime crowd. But she says it was also that second explosion that made her and everyone else jump into action. And that's when we all knew that something more serious was going on. And that's when people really started to evacuate the area. We knew we just had to shut down our business and get away from it. Because there were only six or seven people inside at the time of that first explosion, she says they were just minutes away from opening. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.